should have been a clue that anyone that inspires that level of crazy uh, probably shouldn't have gotten out of the dating phase. When they was busy partying with the Martins, then they switched over from the Martins to uh, uh, Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez, and then the kiss happened on Hawthorne, her show got canceled, Mark and Jennifer broke up, all of this shit was going on, like all of these motherfuckers be doing all of this wild shit. <sighs> they ain't doing as much, I guess, now because they're getting older, I guess it just moved over to the Wade house. Energy transfers, energy and transfers. And I'm not saying that because, I'm not saying that because of their trans daughter. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front till they went to the back and it was a bunch of old fucking and fucking young boys back there all ass naked in the Wade house. So I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking shit about Boosie. Maybe you suspicious of him because of the shit that's happening in your house. Y'all, so it looks like Gabrielle Union is out for revenge because she just exposed her soon-to-be ex-husband Dwayne Wade for being gay and on the DL. Dwayne Wade recently got exposed for cheating on Gabrielle again, and she seems to be trying to get her lick back by spilling as much tea as she can. She appears to have finally confirmed his gay allegations, and listen, it is a whole lot of tea to spill. I failed big, and I failed very publicly, and I failed at marriage. Okay, so I'ma need y'all to get on in the room and come and get this tea real quick because it looks like we are finally starting to get more clarity on the Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade relationship or situationship. Now the streets have been talking about their divorce for a while now and wondering what went wrong. Well, it looks like we finally have the answer to that because insiders are now reporting new information, saying that the marriage crashed because Dwayne Wade has been slinging it around with the Demenses. And Gabrielle is sick and tired of covering up for him. Now rumors of Dwayne Wade cheating on Gabrielle are nothing new because it goes way back to when they first started dating. One of his numerous side pieces spilled the tea back then saying, I too have my situation with Dwayne. Can't lie, he is great in bed, but I definitely would not take him seriously the way Gabrielle does. He sleeps with and flies bees out all the time. They like to act like they are Michelle and Barack when in reality, things are not what they seem. She continued, Every time some type of gossip comes out, they have to make an appearance to show the media how real they are. He's involved with many girls, and that's to say the least. And everyone that deals with him knows this. Either Gabrielle knows this and doesn't care, or she is playing dumb, which I find hard to believe. Well, it turns out that Dwayne was not only cheating with women, but apparently he was cheating with some men's as well. There have been rumors about Dwayne being on the DL for a long time, but nobody really paid a lot of attention to the situation. I mean, he was married to a woman before he even started dating Gabrielle. And even when he and Gabrielle broke up, he ended up getting somebody else pregnant in only a few months. But quiet as his cap, allegedly he was only using the women as beards to hide the truth. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that he didn't love the women too at some point, because I think he might like both of them and really just love women in his own way, but his first priority was to protect his secret. Now fans have noticed something pretty interesting about these two. Now remember when they broke up and he had a breakup baby on her? Well years later, Gabrielle spoke about how hurt she was by his actions, saying, it should go without saying that we were not in a good place at the time that the child was conceived, but we were doing much better when he finally told me about the pregnancy. To say it was devastated is to pick a word on a low shelf for convenience. There are people's strangers I will never meet who have been upset that I have not previously talked about that trauma. I have not had words and even after untold amount of therapy, I'm not sure I have them now. But people have always thought about how weird it was that she took him back after the break baby. But there's this new theory going around that Gabrielle left him when she found out that he was gay. But when he had a baby, he was able to convince her that it was all a misunderstanding and that he was really
really straight and that's why she took him back. It also can kind of explain why they got married only a few months after they got back together and people are now saying that Dwayne was trying to get her to lock it down before she could change her mind. Now some people also believe that he might have been set out deliberately to have the baby just to convince Gabrielle and that it wasn't an accident like he claimed. I mean, what are the odds? Well, fans have noticed that he and Gabrielle barely acknowledge the child, whose name is Xavier. Now there's a whole lot we can say about Dwayne, but nobody can deny that he's a great father. Well, at least to his three other kids, that is. He's a great father to his other children and he has even gone to war for Zaya. Now Zaya is a trans teen woman and a lot of people seem to have issues with this, but Dwayne has shown immense support for her. He literally got a court case with his ex-wife just so Zaya could be free to express herself however she likes. But when it came to Xavier, it's just crickets. Now before y'all come with the excuse that he probably doesn't like Xavier's mom so he ignores the child, let me stop you right there. First, he and Xavier's mom were friends for years before she got pregnant with Xavier. Also, he literally hates the guts of his first wife, Siobhan Fudges, and he continues to show up 100% for their two kids together. So it doesn't even really add up. Plus, if he wanted to have a baby of convenience, it only makes sense for him to choose a longtime friend as the baby mama, right? Well, like I said, fans are now convinced that Gabrielle had her suspicions, but he managed to convince her to stay with the Bragg baby, and they got back together. And for a long time, fans looked at them as the ultimate example of black love in Hollywood. I mean, they were both super successful, and they seemed to be happily in love, so what could possibly And my insistence, when you have your own stuff, you don't need to worry about anyone else's stuff. So everyone should go into the relationship knowing I'm here for you and you're here for me. And the reality is I've never seen Dwayne balance a checkbook. So I gotta protect my stuff. It's the way of the future.
woman and how Gabrielle was so hurt that she decided to pull the plug on the marriage. The blog wrote, Dwayne is very close to a woman, not Gabrielle. He was spotted getting very close to her, spoke to her very intimately while I was there for two hours. Gabrielle also has some interesting posts on her Instagram. When clarity, truth, and transparency are present, there's only room for evolution. Gabrielle just posted on her Snapchat a pic of her daughter. I'd do anything for her peace. They also said, somebody else messaging me that Dwayne keeps posing with the kids and not Gabrielle. Gabrielle has only been posting with her daughter and not their other kids. And an insider said that they will be like Will and Jada. If they ever separate, they will keep it quiet and live their separate lives, but keep a united front for years if necessary. But hold on, it's about to get crazier. As it turns out, the woman that Dwayne was spotted with was not a woman, but a male crossdresser, y'all. According to an insider, Gabrielle allegedly knows that Dwayne is back sleeping with men and she is sick and tired of turning a blind eye and pretending like it didn't happen. The insiders claim that Gabrielle is so hurt over this. This is the real reason that she's talking to divorce lawyers to figure out how to best approach the situation. I don't know, some would say karma's doing this big one and it's some wild stuff. But I gotta know what y'all think about this. Do you think that Gabrielle is going to leave Dwayne over this? Or do you think that she's gonna end up taking him back? Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video.